Uh, 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 time to get up already. Uh, uh, I don't want to be late for class. Wait, hold on a minute. There's no class today. It's Saturday. Oh, let me check the weather. Oh, it's beautiful out. Which is totally awesome because me and Tiny Turtle said that we're going into the city today because... Well, yep, we're desperately low on supplies, and the school canteen doesn't open today, so we're gonna have to go into the city, get some food, and cook up a storm. Oh, Tiny Turtle! Time to wake up! What? Tiny Turtle? Oh, no! Where's Tiny Turtle? Oh, I hope he hasn't gone off on some kind of super secret mission without me, otherwise I'll be so mad! Oh, I presume he's probably off just training or something, he does that sometimes. But what do I do now? I haven't got any food! I suppose I could go into the city on my own. I mean, I've never actually gone outside on my own before. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, first things first. I need to make a list of everything I'll need. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so, first item on my list is going to be sausages, of course, because I love me some sausages. And then second, we're just going to put down more sausages, just to be sure, because, you know, I get a little bit cranky if I don't get my sausages. And the third and final thing that I think we need is sausages, because I just want to make fully sure, because as I said, I can't live without sausages. Okay, well, that seems like everything. Okay, time to go downstairs and get me to the city mall. I don't exactly know where the city mall is. Oh, and I presume I better let Professor Xavier know that I'm leaving the school on my own. Ever since that day that me and Tiny Turtle followed Wolverine, he said don't leave the school without telling him where we're going. So I suppose I can go down and tell him. And I wonder where Tiny Turtle is. He's probably off training or something. Which is fine, because I suppose he can tell me about all his new tricks and abilities and show them to me. Uh, I really hope I get my abilities soon. I mean, I know I have some abilities, but turning into a chicken, a fish, a cow, a sheep, a pig, farmyard animals mostly, it doesn't really help me in a crazy situation. Like, say, for instance, if Magneto comes and tries to explode me, what am I meant to do? Turn into a chicken and run away like a big scaredy chicken? I don't think so. Anyway, at Xavier's office, I better go in and tell him that I'm leaving the school on my own. I hope he lets me. Hello, Professor Xavier. Good morning to you and happy Saturday. I was just dropping in to tell you that I have to go into the city on my own today because I don't have any supplies for breakfast. And as we know, the canteen doesn't open on Saturday. And Tiny Turtle seems to be gone somewhere training. Anyway, what do you think? That cool? Hmm, heading out to the city on your own, eh? I would really prefer if Tiny Turtle went with you. It's a big bad world out there for a little teddy bear, you know. But I suppose seems as how Tiny Turtle isn't here right now, and you have to go out on your own at some point. So why not today? But Bruno, please, just be careful, and don't be too long. I want you back before dark, okay? Oh, thank you, Professor Xavier! Thank you, thank you! And I promise to be the most carefulest teddy bear that ever did live. And I promise to be back before dark. Thank you, Professor Xavier! Oh, this is so exciting! My first proper day out in the Big Bad World! I've waited so long for this day! Ugh, but how am I gonna get to the city mall? It's pretty far away, and I don't think my little paws could carry me that far. Hmm, okay, think, Bruno. Think! Uh, Oh, I have an idea. I could take Scott Berman's car. As long as he doesn't find out, it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this discreetly. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I'm just going into Scott Summer's office because, um, I, I have to leave something there for him. I'll just be one second, don't worry. Okay, I better do this quickly. Okay, if I was Scott Bummers, where would I leave my car keys? Jackpot! Awesome. Got his keys. Okay. Okay. Let me think. I'm gonna have to make something up here. Uh, 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 please, if you don't mind uh, not telling Scott Summers I was in there because I left him a surprise. It's a surprise for his birthday, so don't tell him I was there. Thank you. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, I got Scott Berman's car keys. I have my list, and I'm all good to go. Ooh, ooh, I completely forgot. Tiny Turtle was telling me about this brand new candy store that just opened up in the mall. Maybe I could surprise Tiny Turtle with some new candies. He'd love that. He does love his candy. Okay, first objective of today, learn how to drive a car. It should be fine, right? Okay, let me start this thing up here. 
Okay. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty loud. Okay, if I just put my foot down on this gas pedal, okay, I'm moving, I'm moving. This is so exciting. Let me turn on the radio. Oh, the radio's not working for some reason. I can be my own radio. I'm driving in your car. At the mall, and all in one piece too, and as far as I can see, not a scratch on the car. Awesome! Oh, whoa, this is so amazing and such a beautiful day for my first day out. Wow, I've never been in the mall before. This place is huge, and it's pretty busy too. Hi everybody, don't mind me, I'm just a real life teddy bear. <laughs> now, where is this candy store? I think Tiny Turtle said it was on the first floor. Okay, suit and tie, no. <gasps> Whoa, look at this place! I bet it has every candy in the world in here! Whoa, wait a minute. No! It, it couldn't be. Is, is that a real life teddy bear just like me? <gasps> and she's so beautiful! I better go in for a closer look. It couldn't be. My eyes must be deceiving me. I thought I was the only one. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it is! No, I, I can't go in here looking like this in front of such a beautiful girl. She'll think I'm a loser. Oh no, I can't impress a girl just by being myself. Oh, can I? Of course you can, Bruno. Don't be silly. It's like Professor Xavier always says. You just be you and you'll be fine. Hmm, but maybe I could pick up a suit just to impress her just a little bit. I'd look like a really smart teddy bear then. Hmm, suitandtie.com. This seems like quite the place. Wow, look at all these amazing suits. One of these is bound to impress her, and then she'll have no choice but to fall for this handsome little teddy bear. Okay, let me talk to this guy. He seems to know what's up. Oh, hello, darling. My name's Lewis, and welcome to the suit store. How can I be of assistance to you today? Well, hello there, Lewis, and thank you very much. It's lovely to be in your beautiful store. Okay, Lewis, here's the scuttlebutt. I need a suit. A suit that's gonna impress the most beautiful girl that ever did live. Can you help me? Well, darling, worry not. You've come to the right place. Why don't you head on into the dressing room and I'll bring you in the best suit we have and you can try it on. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds perfect, Lewis. I'm a size teddy bear medium, so whatever that is in human size, I'll take that one, please. Oh, this is so exciting. When I get this suit on, she's gonna fall for me for sure. There's no doubt about it. Oh, I can't wait to try on this suit. Whoa, this suit feels amazing, and it fits perfectly. Okay, time for the big reveal. Let's see how I look. Whoa, look at me. I look like someone out of a movie. The name's Bond. Bruno Bond. <laughs> this is totally awesome. There's no way she can't fall for me now. This is sure to impress her. Oh, this Lewis guy's a genius. Oh, thank you so much, Lewis. It fits Perfectly. I'll take it. What do I owe you? Ah, perfect. And might I say you look very handsome in it. I'm sure you'll just steal this girl's heart. Now, that's our Armani tux and it retails at $6,000. Will that be cash or credit? $6,000? Where am I going to get $6,000? I've only got sixty-four. Oh, this is a disaster. I really want this suit to impress that beautiful girl over in the candy shop. Okay, think Bruno, think. How am I gonna buy this suit? Where am I gonna get $6,000? <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I just might have an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me, Lewis, sir. Uh, you don't know a guy called Scott Summers because he told me he buys a lot of his suits here in your wonderful store. And he told me to come and talk to you because he said it will be absolutely no problem at all if I put my suit on his tab. Is that cool? Oh, yes, I know Scott Summers. He's a very good customer of ours. Of course, if he said it's fine, I'll put it on his tab. Now, go win this girl's heart, and best of luck, little teddy bear. Oh, thank you so much, Lewis, and you've been a huge help today. And don't you worry, I'm gonna steal this teddy bear's heart for sure. 
Okay, Bruno, it's finally the moment of truth. Oh, but I'm getting super nervous. I didn't know there was any, like, teddy bears out there just like me. This is super exciting. And she's the most beautiful teddy bear I ever did see in my life. Okay, Bruno, just remember, be yourself and walk straight up there and win her heart. Okay. <coughs> uh, uh, hello there. I was just coming into your beautiful store to buy some candy and it all looks delicious, might I add. And I just seen that you were a real life teddy bear, just like me, and I thought I was the only one. And might I say, you're the most beautiful teddy bear I ever did see in my life. And I was just wondering, maybe I could get your number and we could go on a date sometime. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not really good at this kind of thing. I, I don't meet a lot of people, really, let alone teddy bears that are really beautiful. Forgive me. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bruno the Bear. And what about you? My name is Honey Bear, and I'm new to the city. I just opened this candy store last week. Wow, Honey Bear. That's such a pretty name. Just like you. And Honey is sweet. Just like you, too. Oh, you're new to the city, you say? Just like me, I'm new here, too. I got transferred to this super cool school, but... Ugh, I suppose I can't really tell you about that school just yet. It's a bit of a secret. Maybe if we become better friends, I could share with you all my amazing stories. But, Honey Bear, it seems as how you're new to the city, and so am I. I reckon we could do some exploring together. I promise you'll have a lot of fun. I'm a super nice bear, and I'll treat you really good. So, what do you say? Okay, I suppose that will be fun. Why don't you call the store later and we can organize a date? Wow, really? You mean it? Uh, okay, honey bear, I'll be sure to look you up in the phone book, and I'll call you later before you close. Uh, I'll see you soon, okay? Wow, can you believe it? A real life date. I've never been on a date before and I never thought I would. And she's the most beautiful girl in the whole world. Oh, this is the best day ever. Oh, I can't wait to get back to X-Men school and tell Tiny Turtle all about this. He's gonna be so proud of me. I mean, I actually got myself a date. How amazing is that? Okay, time to get Scott Bummer's car home before he realizes it's gone. <laughs> Ah, back at the X-Men school at last. Wow, I can't believe the day I just had. It has to be one of the best days ever. I mean, I actually got myself a date with a real-life teddy bear. And she just so happens to be the most beautiful teddy bear in the whole wide world. Wow, it's true what they say. There really is such a thing as fairy tales, I guess. Oh, I can't wait to tell Tiny Turtle all about what happened today. He's going to be super proud of me. Okay, I better go drop Scott Bummer's car keys back. And I didn't even manage to get a scratch on his car. I'm going to pass my teddy bear license. No problem. I really need to book into the DMV soon. I mean, I really should get my license. It's not right that I'm driving that car without my license. Ooh, I better do that quick. I mean, how am I going to take Honey Bear around the city if I don't get my license? Come on, Bruno, get your act together. Uh, excuse me, miss, I just have to go into Scott Summer's office just to drop in something. Be back, be right back. And there we go. And he'll never know the difference. Super awesome. Boy, I'm so glad I went into the city today because if I didn't, I wouldn't have met the love of my life. And it is true what they say, the stuff I read in books. Love at first sight really does exist. Well, at least I hope it does. I'm sure Honey Bear is going to find me to be the super sweetest bear she's ever met in her whole entire life. But where am I going to bring Honey Bear? I really need some suggestions. I guess we could go around the city, go to the movies, go for dinner. Guys, if you have any suggestions, I'd really appreciate it because, you know, I've never actually been around the city before because I only came to life recently. So any suggestions you have, that would be gratefully appreciated. Well, maybe Tiny Turtle has some suggestions. I should go in and ask him. I really can't wait to tell him all about my day. Oh, Tiny Turtle!